with a triple breast of soup. Horrible. Have a good night. Don't be friendly. <laughs> we'll kill you. I right, should make you live longer. Look at me. Ooh, some people are so unfriendly, man. No, yeah. I see these people they stay in the hotel and I say, how you doing? They act like they know me. I, there's a story in the book of Samurai. Goes, the Samurai's walking down the street. He nods to the other Samurai. Walks over, chops the fucking guy's head right off. But it's inside the castle. You know, about to draw a sword. So the Damo, like the chief, like the few lords out, mm -hmm. comes back. The guy's about to, you know, do the hair carry. It's called sepulchre. He says, wait, it's my best Samurai. What's going on? Well, he, he drew a sword inside the castle. How long did he take? Less than seven breaths. Oh, it's just cool, because you make every decision in seven breaths. It's not, it's a reaction, it's not a thought out. It's like manslaughter, not murder. That's true, I guess. It's just, yeah. well, if you murder somebody and you didn't plan it, you only get two to five. You, yeah, you planned it, you got true. 20 you for life. Yeah, that's true. That's well, true. it's the same thing in samurai days. That's true. You're absolutely right on that. Where do you think the law comes from? It comes from old times. Oh, thank you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the only one that's saying that. Trust me. I'm yeah, it's like the Ten Commandments. That's the principle of our law. Thank you. Well, it is, and Sharia law in a Muslim country is based on the Quran. Well, there's a, there's, a, there's a court down south in Georgia with someone like that that has the Ten Commandments up, and they told him to take them down. And the judge, said, the judge says, no, I'm not taking them down because all laws are based off the Ten Commandments. It's not, it's not saying any religion, it's saying these are the Ten Principles you should obey. Don't murder people, don't cheat on your wife, all of those things. You know, don't rat your neighbor out. These are the things that get you killed. If you don't rat your neighbor out in the wrong hood, you get dead. Yeah, they do. Well, I think they understand in Brooklyn. And, they do. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, they don't understand that. When you live in a gang neighborhood, you understand that. Don't rat out the gang members. I know you understand that. That's why you're still alive. <laughs> Me too. Have a good one. That's the guy one. I need no sunglasses, but not on sale. Carnage, oh not more carnage, what happened today? More than 50 people shot in New York City on same weekend as the Illinois Parade Massacre. Oh my goodness. I have to buy this now. I get over it. I just right now. Put that back, I'm not buying that crap. You give them flashbacks. My kid, oldest kid's 20, youngest kid turned 28. I had that conversation with CBS so many times. Put it back, I'm not buying it. I already put you five things already. It's my second time here this week with you. Enough, enough. All right, I just want a paper. I don't buy a paper, but look at that. Carnage. 50 people killed in New York, same day there's a parade massacre in Illinois. You didn't see what happened with the, the guy out there? He, was, he left his gun in the car and he's running, the cops open fire on him and grill him with bullets. The, yeah, it just happened, it happened this weekend. There's a big riot. Yeah, because the cops are saying, well, he had a gun. Yeah, but he already put, left the gun behind with the clip, ran. And, you know, he's unarmed and they got him in the crossfire and they just it's called contagious fire. Once one cop sides a bullet, they all just unload their yeah, clips and put them back in. Blah, 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 blah. Sure, sure. Well, how much is it? Two dollars. Don't remember the kid in the city, he was African, he was doing a Bending, came home from work, he went to get his wallet, he didn't speak English, and the cops blew him. There was like a hundred bullets. One cop put a second clip in, he blew himself off the steps and broke his ankle. What? It's, yeah, it's called contagious firing. You never heard of it? No problem. It's no. when you hear a bullet, you don't know where it's coming from, you just... That's okay, man. Okay, no problem. What's up? What's up? No problem. What's up? My phone's broken too, bro. Have a good night. I'm, I'm, my, phone's been, my phone's been broken. I went on Saturday to get a new one. I don't want to make a commitment. I said, my last girlfriend in the last year, I've been with you three years, I don't want to, I want to another two years, I'm getting a divorce. So now I'm off the phone, I'm like, this is a vacation from a vacation. When the phone gets back on, I'm going to have to pay the dues, <laughs> emails, text messages, but now I don't have to do anything, and I love it. You're good. You're I'm a tired, I'm loving it. Right now, yeah. I'm not, I, I don't even care. I don't, I don't want to turn the phone back on, but I know I have to. Yeah, I'm getting a second, I'm, I qualified, I'm, I'm, I have a bad back. I retired at 62, but I'm, I'm, I can get a phone for life for free with 8 gig hotspot. So I wouldn't do it, so I had to put my, my initials next to I live on an Indian reservation. Well, I wouldn't do it. I couldn't call the 800 number to find out. So I went to put my phone on at, at the McDonald's as a hotspot. I couldn't get the Google to work. I have two Google accounts. It's my old, it's my old contact list on my new contact list. I couldn't get to dial out. It's like, put your number in. I put my number in. It says, that's not your number. Put in your area code. It's like, I, I used to go to Google.